everybody welcome back to my channel my name is Veronica today I would like to share with you a story of my life when it comes to weight and my struggles with weight this episode is primarily for you ladies I personally struggled with my weight my whole life I've been going through ups and downs when it came to confidence I know how challenging it can be so hopefully my advice and my stories will encourage you to be more confident loving yourself more and be less frustrated because many of us are going through this in our lives and we need some of that support some of that cheer that anything is possible you're still a beautiful lady you're still attractive no matter what age you are or what weight you are first off we're all born differently we're all looking different we have different genetics we have different culture different lifestyle different skin color and we're all unique in our own ways we all have different genetics we all have different parents and we might be prone to to being overweight or to be a certain size some women go through their lives and they never gain any weight they were born tiny they were skinny when they were children when they grew up they were always skinny they gave birth to kids and you look at them and you just wonder how is this possible that this wonderful beautiful woman who is so petite and so tiny just gave birth to this three four or five kids and she still looks like this you always ask yourself a question why is it always me that I have to worry about my workouts me counting calories or whatever it is why do I always have to go through these ups and downs of my weight from childhood to adult years it's just been so hard so I'm going to tell you some stories of my life that could have affected me in a really bad way but as I'm looking back on those life experiences and things I went through I understand more about myself now I still feel confident in my own skin I love myself for who I am I love my body I do the best I can to keep it in shape keep it healthy but sometimes it's just the time is against you your genes your genetics are against you and there is not much you can do when I was a little girl I remember my mom always told me oh don't eat this don't eat that you're gonna get fat you're gonna look like a cow nobody's gonna love you because in my country, in Belarus, when I was growing up, actually as was at the time, the part of the Soviet Union, girls were kind of skinny and skinny or model look of being super slim. I never felt like I could fit in in that style because I always was a little bit on the chubby side or I always had some curves. And it was always challenging for me to try to look like the girls in my classroom or the girls I was friends with. And the way my mom was talking to me about it was also a very incorrect way to talk to your children because that kind of talk that I'm gonna look like a cow, that I'm gonna be fat, nobody's gonna love me if I eat so much, that developed some insecurities for me. It made me worry about myself and my self-image. It wasn't about how much I was eating. I was still eating whatever I liked to eat. So now I have my own children. I always try to encourage them that they still look beautiful, they still look wonderful no matter what they are or how they look because that self-image that confidence in the human being is so important the first thing the child sees is the family or what he hears from his mother teach them that confidence in themselves no matter what no matter how they look yes down the line as they get older they get maybe unhappy about their weight or they want to choose a different lifestyle they want to get in shape they want to look great or to look differently it's going to be their choice but as a child, do not damage their confidence and their self-esteem because that will fire back at them later on in life, especially when they're teenagers and where they're so sensitive, they're so vulnerable in their minds. In school, of course, I was more on the chubby side than the other girls. So I always had some of that lack of uh, confidence and I felt a little bit worried about my looks, but I always had you know, certain curves. Although my peers were not interested in me when I started dating boys, I found attention someplace else it wasn't necessarily my peers because back home as I mentioned everybody was so skinny that was the style the fashion you were supposed to be super skinny growing up or when you were in your younger years so I always was concerned about that and I was kind of worried that I need to get married quickly I need to find somebody who likes me and just set my life up to make sure that I don't get left behind oh man was I wrong about that 
so now I'm going to college and in college most of my classmates were girls we had a great time I didn't really worry about my weight at that time so I met some guys outside college I was good I even had a, a relationship with one guy so it was a really nice time for me when I was in college I really didn't worry much about my weight about my struggles I didn't think about my confidence so then I came to United States and this is where my real roller coaster started because as soon as I came to United States the first year I gained about 50 or 60 pounds right away primarily because the food was different the calories were so much different in American food there was a lot more sugar a lot more calories a lot more fat in the foods all the butter that they put in the restaurants on your food it was delicious <laughs> of course all the desserts amazing desserts but at the same time it was super heavy so I gained weight instantly the first year I went from size 2 to size 12 <laughs> it was huge big difference for me so I gained 10 sizes up so I met somebody I got married and my husband at the time he was a skinny guy good-looking but skinny and he did like all those curves he liked you know all those female curves and he was happy with that but I was not happy with myself I was not happy that I was so heavy to me it was I was the heaviest I've ever been in my life I'm used to you know being kind of on the average side but then I remember my mom kept telling me oh nobody's gonna love you but I was already married somebody was loving me uh, my confidence was still down but the truth is all that those thoughts that confidence of you as a person is really in your head of how you view yourself it's not a reflection of how people see you because everybody's different everybody likes different things and men like different women some like skinny some like petite others like more curvy women or bigger women so it was really not coming from the outside for me because my husband loved my curves he wanted me to stay in that shape and form that I was in but I was not happy with myself I wanted to change I wanted to lose the weight I gained the first year I wanted to stop that explosion of weight for me within four months I lost about 50 pounds so I went from size 12 to size 0 the way I lost the weight was I was working out every day I was eating almost nothing I was pretty much starving myself and counting calories I would eat the desserts that I like but I would not swallow them so I would put it in my mouth taste to taste have some chocolate <laughs> and spit it out in the trash can I know it sounds horrible and gross but that was my way of fighting back of me losing the weight and honestly it, the weight drop was so quick and fast because I had high metabolism I was working out I had the discipline to get it done and lose all those pounds that I made it so in four months I lost the 50 pounds I was size zero for me it was a win for me it was a success as a human being I got my confidence back I'm like I look amazing I look like a model <laughs> in the pictures you can see for yourself like I was I was on top of my game I thought oh my god this is amazing but you know what happened I thought that would be a more attractive thing even for my husband that now I'm in this amazing shape but the truth was he was attracted to me before the weight loss he was attracted to me when I had curves when I was heavier and my new shape and my new form was foreign to him he didn't like it he literally lost physical interest in me as a woman I could not believe it so now I had all this confidence that I built up by losing all this weight feeling great looking healthy and I started eating again of course uh, because I wanted to you know enjoy all the foods that I always enjoyed but I was still size 0 size 2 through all of my 20s and the next thing I know is my relationship didn't work out and the beginning of that drop the beginning of that fallout was my loss of weight and looking skinny so as you see that was a struggle for me that was something that I thought I'm gaining I'm gaining confidence I'm gaining my body back I'm gaining that physical appeal but it, it was really I was doing it for myself I was not doing it for anybody else because everybody else didn't think it was all that great because even my mom said to me Veronica your face looks skinnier you look 
like you have all the bones now sticking out your curves are no longer there you don't look as great as you used to you know you need to eat a little bit more so you can gain your cheeks you can have a little bit of butt some boobs and all that stuff so my mom told me this and i was in shock i'm like how is that possible so now i'm in my late 20s i got divorced i started dating again and then i had a great time I didn't worry about my weight. I was size four, size six at the time, and everything was going great. I was eating everything I wanted. I was trying to keep in shape. I tried to work out and exercise, and it wasn't hard. At that time, it wasn't hard to stay in shape, to stay in my physical appearance and my fit and have that confidence that I look great, because the truth is, that's all about your confidence in your head of how you see yourself in the mirror. It's really not how others see you. If you're confident, if you're happy about your body, your weight, how you look, you portray that confidence, you radiate that confidence and everybody sees it, everybody loves you for who you are. It's really not how you look or how many curves you have or how what size you are whether you're 0 2 10 20 <laughs> whatever it is it's about who you are as a person because that soul that heart of yours radiates and reflects at other people and they see it and they love you for that then came the years of me getting married again i met my second husband and we started a family a lot of women have kids in their early 20s or in their 20s have no problem with their bodies they bounce right back they don't have an issue of losing the weight, the belly fat, and all that stuff that comes with having a child. But as you cross into your 30s, it's a completely different story. And I'm sure as you cross into your 40s, it's even more hard and complicated to keep in shape, to get your body back. So a lot of women go through different surgeries. So I had two wonderful children. They were kind of back to back. When the first baby was born, I was able to drop the weight right away just because I was still younger. It was my early 30s. And a lot of it was because I didn't sleep well. My kids kept me up or my first child didn't sleep for the first two years. All that deprivation of good sleep really affected me. And um, I was just losing weight because I was so exhausted and so tired. Then I got pregnant again. The second baby came. And it was even harder at that point to lose all those baby pounds, all that fat around your stomach, all that fat that grows to protect the baby when you get pregnant. So at that time, I was already in my mid-30s and I was just overwhelmed. My hormones were out of whack. I also was breastfeeding, but at the same time when I stopped breastfeeding, it didn't help. I was stressed out. It was a physical challenge. It was a mental challenge. As you know, with kids, it's a constant challenge 24-7. So you don't really have a lot of time for yourself. You don't have time to think about what you're going to eat next, how you're going to go to the gym. You try to do your best. You try to find time for yourself, but you really don't. So my 30 I can say it was the years that I dedicated to my children I gave to my children sacrificed myself just did the best I could but it was extremely difficult for me as a human being to get physically fit or get back in shape or worry about my body at that time so of course I gained some weight then when kids got a little bit older, I realized that I need to do something about it. And of course, I went back to the gym. I started taking some very, very uh, intensive workouts. I started doing kickboxing. I did yoga. I did dancing classes. I did a lot of physical exercise in order to get back into my normal sizes. Because at that time, I was sized between 10 and 14 after the pregnancies, after having the kids. And to me, it was too much. It was hard for me to walk up the steps. And I can't even imagine how people live with a lot more pounds than that uh, after they had kids. It's extremely challenging. So you kind of hate yourself for being overweight. And of course, that confidence meter keeps dropping and you're like, oh my God, nobody's gonna love me. Nobody thinks I'm attractive. Your husband at that time is like, probably not attracted to you anymore because they were attracted to you when you were skinnier and then you start getting worried about it that's all in your head you're you don't know what to do you start working out and you know what um i did it again my marriage unfortunately fell apart and i was heavy i was unhappy i went back to working out because for my body or for my physique that's what worked the best the workout the exercise that's what worked for me and that's what helped me drop the pounds and get my confidence my body back and again i was uh, in great shape i looked awesome 
and I started dating again. <laughs> At that time I was in my, in my late thirties and guess what? After you go through all these stages of confidence, lack of confidence, lack of self-esteem, worries in your head that nobody's gonna love you, but then realizing that it really doesn't matter what people think. It, what matters is what you think, what's in your head, what makes you happy. So I realized all of that. And you know what, at that point, I thought I was just invincible. And I'm like, well, if I need to lose weight to make myself happy, I'm just gonna go to the gym. I'm gonna have um, maybe not the strictest diet, but working out the physical exercise will do the trick. I was like, oh, I can do it. <laughs> now I can do it. So now I'm crossing in my 40s. And as I got out of one relationship, babies are kind of growing a little bit. I look great. I feel very confident about myself, about my body. Going into the 40s, many people say that everything goes downhill from that point on. I didn't believe it. I didn't want to believe it. I thought, you know, I can do everything. I already done it more than once in my life. If I start gaining weight, I'm gonna just drop it off real quick with my workouts, with my exercises. But you know what? I was wrong again. It's not as simple, not as easy. Besides your metabolism slowing down, besides you know, you being busy with your work, with your daily routine, next thing that happened to me was during my workout, doing kickboxing, I kind of hurt my leg. I was hurt, I, I didn't know what it was. I just had pain walking, I went to the doctors, I went to physical therapy, and they did the x-rays, and they pretty much told me that I have a developing arthritis. And because of that, I probably need to slow down and need to do less workouts or less things on that leg. And I truly couldn't do much anyway because it was hurting really bad. I couldn't do the steps, I couldn't do up the hill, so my workouts that I'm used to, some of that kickboxing, some of that stretching, even yoga and, you know, dancing and aerobics, gone. Gone for good because my head pain, I couldn't really handle it and I couldn't work out. So that one thing that kept me balanced, that kept me confident that I can do it all, that I can lose weight whenever I want to, was taken away from me. And there is nothing I could do except for, you know, trying to do the surgery, but they told me I'm too young to do the surgery for arthritis. I have to maybe take some medication for now and just see how it goes. So it really was very frustrating. It, it's been almost a year, me struggling with it, me taking the medication, trying to work out. I'm only doing walking right now. I try to use different other tools or different ways of exercising just to make sure that I can stay in shape, but it's really, really hard. Besides the fact that, you know, you try to kind of stay on the diet, maybe doing intermittent diet, maybe try to watch what you're eating, but it's still really difficult. And no matter how hard it is for everybody, no matter what your circumstances are, you could be, you know, having something more serious than arthritis, you can have some other more serious sicknesses and you just really cannot move, you cannot work out. But the biggest thing, the biggest struggle is really you with yourself of how you see yourself in the mirror, how you see yourself inside, and that's where that confidence uh, comes into place and how do you love yourself. One skill that I learned throughout life through all these tribulations of having more weight, less weight, bigger clothes, smaller clothes, kids, you know, being sick, being in the gym or whatever it is, it's all about your confidence and self-love. If you don't give yourself enough attention and enough self-love and be gentle with your feelings, be not so harsh criticizing yourself, not so harsh, no matter what other people say, I think everybody can agree with me that in your 40s, you don't really care anymore what people think of you, what people say you look like, or how you look like. At some point in your life, you cross that line where you don't care about people's opinions anymore. It's more about your happiness, your health, and how to kind of move on from that point on and how to keep that confidence strong and on a certain level so that no matter what people say to you, no matter what circumstances life throws at you, you always have that core, that strength inside you to overcome all these difficulties. And that core is really you, yourself, your mind, your confidence, your self-esteem, your knowledge of yourself and you being able to control your emotions and your feelings about who you are as a person. It's a constant struggle, constant challenge, but 
just remember one thing nobody can make you happy unless you make yourself happy so that happiness cannot come from the outside nobody can throw money at you or anything else like to make you happy you have to find that happiness in yourself and it really comes from that confidence that self-love and self-esteem and if you have that that's your anchor that's your strength that's your core and with that you can overcome anything thank you so much for watching my video i hope it was helpful i hope my stories were interesting to you to listen to if you liked it please don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more videos from happy lady one-on-one -on -one.